part of the learning process is testing things out and making mistakes. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom, and you can pre-order all of the Strixhaven cards you need right now by heading over to CardKingdom.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much A Brew About Nothing. And this week, we we're trying some more Tusky action. You might remember, a couple of months ago, we played some Squirrel Blade, basically a Stoneforge sword deck in Modern with Tusky. Well, this deck, I think it's even a better Tusky deck. This is Tusky Tokens, a deck that is really trying to maximize the card advantage Toski can generate. So let's talk about it, jump into a league, see it in action. So of course Toski can't be countered, indestructible, must attack. Most importantly, whenever a creature deals combat damage to a player, we get to draw a card. And in our deck, we have a bunch of cards that put multiple evasive creatures on the battlefield. Spectral Procession, Lingering Souls, Bitter Blossom. So it's pretty easy for us to have three or four 1-1 one -one flyers on the battlefield by the time Toski comes down on turn four. And then we just refill our hand and turn after turn, snowball that value into a victory. We also have a couple of Planeswalkers that walk the line between token generators and token payoffs. Both Sword Solid Visitor and New Elspeth can take and pump tokens and also make tokens, which makes them pretty synergistic in our deck. We also have just a couple of token buffs. We have Intangible Virtue, Force of Virtue, giving our stuff plus one, plus one. Force of Virtue, really cute with Toski, because sometimes we draw so many cards that we end up discarding the hand size. Worst case, we can exile a card to force a virtue to keep our hand size low, stay below the discard to hand size range. Otherwise, Oriac Champion for life gain, also pretty good against a black red heavy meta. A bunch of removal, some discard, mana base, Windbris Kites lets us play things for free if we get a bunch of tokens. Castle Art and Veil for some token production. Otherwise, fetch lands, triome, shock lands, snow covered basics. In the sideboard, a bunch of removal options, a little more token production and timely reinforcements, some hate cards, and that is Toski Token for modern. That's our much Druid deck for this week, so let's jump into a league, see if the combo of Toski and Tokens can actually compete in the format. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Alright, much brew about nothing time. We are <laughs> Toski tokening in modern. And uh well this hand does not have a does not have a Toski, but we got tokens and way to benefit from them, so seems uh seems reasonable. Well, Temple Garden tapped, go. And if we ever find a Toski, cards cards will be drawn. See what our opponent's up to. Godless Shrine untapped, and Inquisition takes the intangible virtue. Well, play the castle, play the Oriok champion, go. Flagstones, and Stoneforge Mystic. Well, we get to draw cards. Opponent, I assume, gets a Batter Skull. I guess they could get like a pro white sword would be fine. Uh, it is a batter skull. Although, Oriac Champion's a good blocker there. Well, Silent Clearing, Spectral Procession, get the clock going, gain some life. Drawing another Intangible Virtue is pretty good. That uh speeds up our clock quite a bit. Uh, poo, nint, passing. Well, Bitter Blossom. Uh, let's play when Briskites. Toski, we need a Toski. There's Toski. All right, take Toski play a intangible virtue wow fatal push is a token okay that is allowed go to combat hit ya <laughs> i am pretty excited about this toski coming down phone it cracks <laughs> squirrel surprise Ooh, i do like how the how these uh basics look i need to get these they're pretty unique Opponent takes it. Well, for right now, this Oriac Champion is a good way to stop Batter Skull. Until it gets put on something else. Uh, opponent. Because the germ is black. So Pro Black does deal with it. Opponent. Little Legend Ruling. Sure. Godless Shrine. I feel like if our opponent had a path, they would be killing Oriac Champion, so this Toski might actually stick. Ooh, opponent has Lingering Souls, but not as good. Okay. Passes. Well... Go to combat. Oh, but we can't Toski without... Hmm. Well, let's attack with the spirits. We can't Toski this turn. Opponent takes it. We will... Lingering Souls. Inquisition. Take Cling. The bad news is our opponent can move the Batter Skull to a spirit. And then they actually have a... 
Well, they have a legit blocker. They can't really attack very well because we can just put a bunch of tokens in front of it. I guess we could have Toskied there, but we would have had to sacrifice Oriac Champion, which doesn't seem worth it if we can avoid it. What did our opponent draw? Opponent does need to do something or else. All right, plays Gideon. Emblems. Yeah. Well, Toski surprise. Opponent passes. <laughs> How's his son's nemesis? Well, go to combat. Do some attacking. Opponent. Blocks. Blocks. Well, we will draw two. Are you going to leave one back? We will draw three then. All right, opponent blocks. Well, uh, surprise. Yes. <laughs> ah! Squirrel time, squirrel time. Gain a life, kill some stuff, draw two, play a lingering souls, gain some life. And this is going, this is going wonderfully. Our opponent had Stoneforge for Matter Skull, and it doesn't look like it's actually going to matter because we've had this Oriok champion. Opponent, Inquisitions. This might just be Peek and Scoop. Takes a Bitter Blossom. Plays a land. I mean, they can flashback Lingering Souls, but I don't think that really matters anymore. Yeah, opponent scoops it up. Okay. Toski Surprise. Looking good there. Huh. Well, Assassin's Trophy in. Because that can actually kill a Batter Skull. Um, huh. What else do we want? Probably not Stony Silence. Maybe it's worth it. Forge Tinder, no. The Fatal Push seems good. I guess we get Piffing Needle? Let's go down this Elspeth. Let's go down a Force of Virtue. And, hmm. And, eh, one more Force of Virtue. Let's try it like that. All right, so a, a bit more removal. That game was all about Oriac Champion. If we did not have the Oriac Champion, I think we'd lose. But Oriac Champion shutting down the Batter Skull life gain was, wow. Bitter Blossom Tron, including our lucky Bitter Blossom. Ah, uh, well, all right, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be good for us, but uh, well, that's a lot of Bitter Blossoms. <laughs> bitter Blossom Tron assembled. Opponent takes one. Well, Marsh Flats, crack it. Unfortunately, yeah, I think we got a Godless Shrine since we drew Spectral Procession. Uh, Inquisition, you. Jeez. Two stone forges and a small pox. Well, this is bad in a bunch of ways. Well, opponent's really good at having a handful of stone forges. That is our opponent's special ability. Opponent, stone forge, sort of fire nice. Well, marsh flats, crack it. Snow covered plains. Bitter blossom, one go. Opponent passes. Well, make a dork. Ooh, or yeah, champion sweet. I think what we do, though, is just Marsh Flats, Crack Marsh Flats, Snow-Covered Plains, Spectral Procession, and Pass the Tur. I mean, the good news is... Hopefully this isn't Batter Skull. Okay. Good news is we can ba uh, we can chump block whatever has Sword on it for a very, very long time. Wow, if we find Toski? Oh. Or a way to pump the tokens would be fine. Opponent. Stoneforge 2. Thankfully, this sword does not protect from our colors. Gets the batter skull. Well, make a token. Ooh. Ooh. Well, in that case, I think we gotta take this batter skull. Ew. Do we take the batter skull? You yeah. know. Smallpox, smallpox. So I think we actually take damnation. Play Oriac Champion. Windswept Teeth. Hit our opponent a bunch. I guess with the Oriac Champion, we don't really care that much about, about batter skull. And our opponent's never going to get to five mana to to uh, equip it, I don't think, before they die. I don't crack this. Snag our Triome. In case... Toski? Toski off the Topski? Bitter Blossom. Gain a life. Yeah. Toski. Oh! <laughs> the Squirrel Dream! Toski. <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, this is Toski to the max. Uh, yes, we will attack with five flying tokens. Yes, we will draw a new hand of Magic the Gathering cards. No batter skull, you will not be enough. <laughs> wow, Toski is insane in this in this scenario. All right, Toski. Toski, Toski. Win brisk guy, it's sure. Hide it away. Find some goodies for next turn. Ew. Mm. Well, I guess we'll just take Inquisition and uh, pass the turn. So I guess our opponent's hope is, like, Batter Skull find a way to kill the Oriok champion? And then maybe their life gain will matter? 
Opponent finds a land. Toski is just so much card draw in this deck. Like, we played Toski in the Blade deck, and it was it was okay. Like, it was cute, but boy. A whole bunch of tokens seems like a, a good way to take advantage of it. Opponent, Lingering Souls. We will gain a bit of life. Oriac Champion's been an all-star, though. So we can't win this turn, but we can draw a ton of cards. Yeah, gain some life. Yes, please. Go to combat. Oh, hmm. Toski attacking is actually annoying, isn't it? Well, that is awkward. Well, go attacking. This does let our opponent gain back four life. I kind of forgot about that. It doesn't kill the Toski, but... Opponent blocks and blocks and blocks. We draw four. Wow, fatal pushes for days. And Assassin's Trophy. Uh, so, well, let's... Two mana Inquisition. Take Blood Chief's Thirst. Silent Clearing. Fatal Push Germ Token. Fatal Push Stone Forge. On Thin Ice. Wow. Well, that is a uh, that is why drawing many cards is good. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! We drew so many cards. Toski is absurd in this deck. Alright, that was a uh, that was incredibly impressive. Good god. Well, uh, yeah, let's keep doing that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright, much brew about nothing time. We are Toski tokening in modern, and, well, no Toski, but we got tokens and some interaction, and, uh, I mean, we're gonna need a land for those Lingering Souls. I guess we could Inquisition our own Lingering Souls. Probably a, a bad idea. So I think, for the time being, the plan looks like Inquisition into Bitter Blossom into Virtue, and hope that that's uh, enough. Could find a Toski eventually. Once Toski comes down with a bunch of tokens, good lord. Oh my god, it's Dredge. Well, we're taking the Shriekhorn. That's actually kind of good for us. Opponent's hand does not allow them to fill the graveyard at all yet. So maybe we have hope? Fatal Push is not helpful. Uh, well, Bitter Blossom. I almost wonder if our opponent was supposed to just hold on to cards and try to discard the hand size. Copperline Gorge. Oh, don't tell me you just... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is... Literally the best thing our opponent could draw, times a hundred. God. Ho 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 ho. Well, that looks like game to me. Uh, Marsh Flats, crack it, snow-covered plains. Wow, that was, that was absurd. Well, we own Lingering Souls and pass the turn. But yeah, now this one, this game's over. There's no way. Opponent also milled an ox. Well, that is 1 million percent what we needed our opponent not to randomly top deck. Opponent. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I don't know if y'all have ever played against Dredge before, but there's no way we can win from here. <laughs> so, on to the next one. Uh, two rest in peace in. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, unfortunate. Forge tender in. Go down. Random removal. We only have two graveyard hate spells. Ugh. Uh, 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 Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> Give us rest in peace, please. Oh, I thought we had a chance when our opponent, uh, kept a hand that, after we Inquisition, they did not have a way to fill the graveyard, but Cathartic Reunion was exactly what our opponent needed. I think they had to basically draw that or Merchant of the Veil, where they're two, like, reasonably effective options. And, uh, they, they did. Well, we got a rest in peace, which is our single best card, although it is also not a guaranteed win because Dredged Eggs play answers to uh, to the hate cards. Bloodstained Mire, opponent cracks it. Stomping Grounds, untapped, Shriekhorn. Well, Castle Iron Veil, rest in peace, go. See if our opponent has an answer. Untaps. Well, they didn't upkeep kill it. Untap land, and... Okay, opponents in hardcast mode. That's a good mode for them to be in. Um, let's play Oriok Champion. Win Brisk Heights. Take Intangible Virtue. Pass the turn. We do need to kill our opponent fairly quickly, because if we don't, our opponent will eventually find an answer to our graveyard hate and have a shot. Stinkweed. Sure. We gain a life. Opponent passes. Well, Wind Swept Teeth, crack it. Ugh, so we can't get black and green. Well, I guess we just take green. Play a Toski. Start drawing cards. Oh, maybe this Rest in Peace is gonna hold. Squirrel time. Go to combat. Hit ya. 
pro black, can't block, draw a card. Yeah, there's our black mana. All right, I uh, I kind of like where we're at now. Opponent land. I mean, whenever your graveyard hate sticks and stays against Reg, you're in a indecent shape at least. Blood crypt untapped. Blood gassed. And opponent. Wow. Well, we've had two very dredgy games. Uh, game one, our opponent. <laughs> Hit the cathartic reunion, ran away with the game. Game two, we hit the rest in peace uh, and ran away with the game. Not much, not much middle ground against Dredge. Someone is going to win or lose brutally. Well, that worked. Definitely a little bit frightened since we're on the. Ooh, well, this would be a good hand in a lot of matchups, but not in this matchup. Oh, no graveyard hate, but we do only have two rest in pieces. All right, we're going to keep this. We're going to put Path to the bottom. And we shall see. Opponent's going to five. And we do get to Inquisition. Well, we'll see. Blast Zone for our opponent. And Shriek Horn. That's unfortunate. Well, play the land and Inquisition you. Take the Merchant. Pass the turn. Well, let's see how good our opponent's Shriek Horns are. Golgari Thug. That's pretty good. And a prized amalgam. Opponent. Okay dredges hits a loam so what we really need is rest in peace off the top right now please that's not a rest in peace uh so play snow covered plains and bitter blossom <laughs> opponent has a loam as our dredger this turn or all right still a loam do they keep dredging they do all right hits an arc amoeba which gets a prized amalgam opponent passing Rest in peace soon, please. We get a token. Hmm. Well, is it even worth thought seizing? Probably not. Uh, play intangible virtue. Arid Mesa. Go. I don't know if we overcome this or not. Opponent being on one land is somewhat helpful. Opponent dredges. Goes attacking. If we top deck our rest in peace, we got a shot. We got a really good shot. Uh, take the triome. Take our beats. Make a token. I'll play Marsh Flats. Bitter Blossom number two. Go to combat, hit ya. Mm. Thossies? All dredgers. All right, yeah. I wanted to cast it because there was a chance they would have like a cathartic reunion by now. At some point, our opponent should probably draw for lands, but all right, hits an arc amoeba. I guess the question's gonna be how many, how many creeping kills can they hit? Opponent goes attacking. I mean, we're gonna kill it. We can't keep taking three. So kill prize amalgam. Marsh flats cracked. Take a temple garden. Untap. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I think Toski's for next turn. This turn we're going to attack. Run out. Force of Virtue. Well, this is it. We gotta fade. We gotta fade Creeping Chills mostly. Opponent. Creeping Chill. All right, down to six. That is a scary clock. Opponent. Passes. Because we're also taking damage from our Bitter Blossoms. Down to five, down to four. Well, one, two, three, four. Toski, go attacking. Oh, opponent blocks, blocks. If they dredge a Creeping Chill, we die. Oh, it was one card too deep. It was one card too deep. No Creeping Chill, 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 no Creeping Chill. No creeping chill. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, they hit it. Wow. Wow, that was ridiculous. Well, I mean, that just goes to show you, if you don't hit a graveyard hate spell at time, Dredge can literally do nothing and, uh, and win the game. <sighs> well, maybe this deck needs more than two graveyard hate spells on the sideboard. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are Tusky tokening and... I don't know if I want to keep this in or not. <laughs> no tokens. This doesn't do anything. We got some interaction. Opponent could be Death Shadow, which means we're probably going to get Thought Seized. Eh, you know what? We're going to keep it. I feel like Path and Thought Seized is reasonable enough against a Lurus deck, hopefully. We do have a land that can draw us a card, and then hopefully we find some token production. Blood Crypt untapped. And Vossies. Swift Spear. Alright, well I'm glad we kept a path. Ooh, not glad that we drew another land. Well, at least it's a triumph that we can cycle. Uh 
Well, this is a little risky, but let's thought seize. Ooh! Two bolts and a swift spear, eh? I'll take Scourge of the Skyclave. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, how about a... <laughs> How about a Oriak champion off the top, Magic Gods? We could uh, deal with an Oriak champion opponent. Gonna hit us, gonna bold us, not gonna bold us. Intangible virtue. Not as good without tokens. Well, flooded strand. Go. Yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe we should have mulligan. Maybe this isn't good enough. Opponent, blood crypt. Untap. Trying to get Death Shadow going. I'm surprised they didn't bold us. That's a lot of damage with the Swift Spears. For catacombs. Opponent goes to combat. Uh, attacks. Well, crack the flooded strand. No, 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 don't kill us, please. Hmm. Yeah, this is, this is not good. This is not good. Well, get a land. Get rid of the swift spear. Ooh, this is going to make the Luris come back and then get back the Skyclave. Yeah, we're, we are in a really bad spot. We need to top deck a discard spell right now or else Luris beats us for sure. Bitter Blossom. Uh, I'm not even sure, like, do we even show our opponent what we're doing? So they get to play Luris. They have two lightning bolts in hand. Luris can immediately recast, we know they have Peatland, so they can immediately recast Scourge of the Skyclaves, which would be a 7-7. Seven, seven. They have lightning bolts. Yeah, they're. we're just going to, you know what, I think our, okay, so we play Silent Clearing, we sack Silent Clearing. All right, yep, and now we'll scoop. We're just not going to show our opponent what we're doing. The, I don't think there's really any chance that we win the game, uh, that game, and showing our opponent that we're tokens and having them bring in, like, Plague Engineer or something seems like an unwise, unwise plan. Well, bring in the Fatal Pushes. Go down this Elspeth, which I don't know if this Elspeth is actually worth it. Go down the Elspeth. Go down two Force of Virtues. Not going to bring in the Thought Seizes. Forge Tender... I guess it's fine. Yeah, all right, try like that. Well, we'll see. I mean, we did keep a a hand that didn't have tokens, which that might have been that might have been on us. Well, this hand is interesting. If we don't get hit by discard, it is wonderful because Oriac Champion is our best card. If we do get hit by discard, uh, our lands are going to very much hurt us. That is a concern. Silent clearing. So we're hoping for just like a Swift Spear or something, and not a discard spell. Also awkward to draw two of two silent clearings. Blood crypt untapped. All right, that's good. Opponent goes attacking. So we get to fatal push. Get rid of the swift spear. Untap. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's just get a planes. Actually, let's take Temple Garden. Oof. Yeah, down to 15. But we get an Oriac champion. Go. Overgrown tomb for our opponent. And... Scourge of the Skyclaves. Well, does not get through Oriac Champion very well. Opponent passes. Play Silent Clearing. Play a... Hmm. Yeah, let's just Lingering Souls. I mean, I don't think they can kill us this turn. With this Oriac Champion out. Even if they have, like, Team or Battle Rage or something. And then next turn, we can flash it back and Fatal Push, maybe? Uh, Potent. Gonna do some Dismembering by the looks. <laughs> sure. The Shadow. And, oh boy, all the Death Shadows. Well, that's a little scary. About it. Passes. Well, there's Toski if we can get to it. We will Lingering Souls flashback. Oh, we're one life away from being able to kill this Scourge of the Skyclaves without actually doing anything. If it wasn't for the fact that we were losing so much life to these Silent Clearings, we'd be in good shape. About it. Dismembers a spirit goes to combat attacks with everything hmm well, we will do some blocking ah, block 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 opponent's going to lightning bolt well in that case we will fatal push a death shadow untap well marsh flats crack marsh flats snow covered planes toski go attacking draw card pass the turn oh it's gonna be close opponent a bobble I mean, we have two free blocks this turn, and Toski seals the deal. All right, so Toski was good. Toski was good enough to uh, to get there. Yeah, Oriar Champion seems important. Well, run it back. Man, Toski has felt really, really good in this deck. When we played the Stoneblade deck, Toski was kind of meh. But uh, in this deck, Toski is the hero. Like, Toski is so, so good. Ah. Uh... Well, I mean, we'll try this. 
Discard tokens, Forge Tender. It's not bad. Catacombs. Opponent cracks it. Blood Crypt. And Inquisition. We actually kind of just want to draw lands. If we can draw lands and curve Spectral Procession to Toski, it probably takes... Ugh, I don't even know. Virtue? Forge Tender? Takes Inquisition. Kind of a surprise. Well, that is a land. Um, Arid Mesa, go. Overgrown Tomb for our opponent. Untap down to 15. Wow, Grim Flare. Okay. I was not expecting Grim Flare. That is kind of an issue. Another Toski. Well, Godless Shrine, untapped. Intangible Virtue. Ooh, opponent. Well, they get to Grim Flare hit us. That is a concern. Wooded Foothills. Ugh, could use some removal. Grim Flare is a scary card when it goes unchecked. Like, when it just gets to keep hitting you, it can take over a game. Opponent hits us. Essentially surveils three, which also fills a graveyard for Luris. And make sure our opponent's drawing action next turn. Opponent, mills a Swift Spear, and... I mean, if they don't have discard, Spectral Procession is good. I mean, Intangible Virtue, Spectral Procession, Toski, that's what we want. Opponent's just off to the, the fast start. Mills a Death Shadow. So basically setting up Luris. What if Foothills? Blood Crypt, untap, down to 12. Ugh, Scourge of the Skyclaves. Oh my goodness, what a hand. What a hand. We draw a Fatal Push, but, well, Aaron Mesa, crack it. Oh, this is, this is so incredibly bad. How do you beat this start? Wow. Well, okay, Spectre Procession, go. But our opponent has a ridiculous amount of power on the battlefield here on turn three. Vernon Catacombs goes to combat, attacks with everything. I mean, is there any way we, I don't, wow, what a start. Uh, block, 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 I guess. Kills, oh, this is so bad. We might be dead right now. Opponent cracks, gets a swamp. We drop to six. Opponent, another Grim Flare. And oh, <laughs> This is the most ridiculous start I've ever seen. Odd Thin Ice. Get rid of the Scourge of the Skyclaves. Brinted Forge Tender. Pass the turn. Well, we'll see what our opponent finds. Opponent untaps. Land to grow the Death Shadow. Goes to combat. Opponent attacks, attacks, attacks. Well, we will block and block. Fatal Push the Scourge. Well, we'll see. About it. You know it's coming back, because Luris. Yeah, there's Luris. Well, there's a land. That does mean it's Toski time. We'll see if Toski time is a good enough time. There's Toski. Hit ya. Draw a card. Well, path is reasonable. Opponent draws a bobble. I mean, path gets rid of the Luris. It's not over yet. We are fighting through... One of the most ridiculous Death Shadow draws I've ever seen about it. I mean, there's hope. There is hope. If we can draw a big token producer, we actually seriously really have a chance to win this. After our opponent played two Grim Flayers, two Death Shadows, two Scourge of the Skyclaves over the first two turns of the game, three to, or four turns of the game, opponent gives back the Scourge. It's a 12-12. Opponent passes. Token production, please. Castle Ardenvale. Hmm. So, well, we need to, huh, we need to get lucky. Is that where this is at? So Toski has to attack. We can't get hit by either of these without dying. We can kill the Luris. Draw a card. Hope that it's token production. Well, all right. Path Luris. We got to get a little lucky. We need to hit Spectral Procession. That's the draw we really need here. Go to combat, attack, attack. Well, I guess we can jump for a turn, but if we lose the spirit, it's pretty bad. Opponent blocks, we draw. Lingering Souls, all right. Well, Castle Ardenvale. Lingering Souls. No top decks, please. No top decks, Pota gets to draw two. We are holding on, no battle rages, not multiple removal spells, opponent. Top decks, like a champ, Oh. Wow. Well, boy. I mean, I guess the good news is we've played some uh, really close. Like, even in our losing efforts, our deck has not been outmatched. That was an obscene Death Shadow draw. And when it comes down to it, 
our opponent still had to top deck to beat Toski. So no matter what our record ends up being in this league, uh, yeah, I mean, the deck f is competitive even when it doesn't actually work out in the end. Oh, that's brutal, though. Brutal. All right, well, on to the next. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are Toski tokening in modern, and Sam seems reasonable. Uh, yeah, Godless Shrine, untapped, Inquisition, you. See what our opponent's doing. Oh boy. Well, hmm. So, good news is our opponent only has one non land. Bad news is <laughs> they top deck Amulet and they got Primeval Titan coming. Uh, yeah. Going to be tricky. I mean, we get to Bitter Blossom into Spectral Procession. Not sure, though, that that'll be enough. Uh, well, Flooded Strand, Crack It. Snow Covered Plains, Bitter Blossom. The cool one. Pass the turn. Well, we'll see. They also have a Castle Garen Brig, so they have a land that taps for two. So, Prime Time comes next turn off of the bounce land Ugh. yeah 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 well that's an issue we are playing pretty fair magic well make a one one <laughs> marsh flats crack it snow covered plane spectral procession three one ones but it is primeval titan time yeah bounce land untaps and they have the amulet which makes prime time even better six mana Picks up Telerio Est. Primeval Titan. Ah, uh, Primeval Titan is quite the card. Haste. Yeah. All right. Well, on to the next one. <laughs> oh, we tried. Uh, so I guess Damping Sphere's in. Oriac Champion doesn't really do much. Uh, we don't have a ton of great options, do we? Fatal Push. I guess kills some somewhat relevant stuff. Elspeth. Elspeth has not felt great. Thought seizes. Assassin trophy, uh, trophy can kill Amulet, but it also gives our opponent a land, which is bad. All right, we're on the play. I guess we just got to be aggressive. Well, that's not gonna do it. Oh no, 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 no. Oh Toski, why Toski? We've done a great job of drawing cards. This is the first match we've played where it hasn't felt especially close. Oh, Fatal Push Bottom, Snow Covered Plains Bottom. Well, I guess our plan is Damping Sphere into Lingering Souls and hope our opponent really stumbles around for a while. I guess our deck can mulligan fairly well if we hit Toski. Tab plan for our opponent. Well, crack this, grab the Triome, untap. All right, back to Fatal Push. I'll play a Damping Sphere, go. Damping Sphere is good at punishing the Bounce Lands, although definitely not game over or anything. Trium, opponent, passing. Well, silent clearing, run out a lingering souls. Pass the turn, opponent. Abriel Grazer, opponent also kept seven. Bounce land, picks up Teleria West. That Vesuva copying our trio might end up being big for our opponent, allowing them to uh, actually cast Primeval Titan through the Damping Sphere. All right, replays, passes. Well, Godly Shrine, untapped. Fatal Push the Grazer. Flashback Lingering Souls. Get in for two. About it. What do you got? 18. We get to hit for eight and eight, so we're just short of a two-turn clock at the moment. Toski would be interesting. About it. Dry out of the Ilson Grove. Yeah. And Radiant Fountain. And Sun Home. And Aberial Grazer. And a bounce land. Yeah, this Triome is our opponent's only real source of green mana. Well, we will play a intangible virtue. Play the land. Go attacking. Hit you for six. Well, we'll see. Damping Sphere is giving us a giving us hope about it. <laughs> Radio Fountain returns, gains life. Oh, this Dryad is fixing their mana, yeah. Primeval Titan. Oh, we slowed him down, but not enough. Draw a card. Spectral Procession. The problem is now our opponent can theoretically get Valakuts, and that theoretically, not even theoretically, literally beats us, yeah. Well, we tried, we tried. I will say, 
that's the first game where we just felt completely unclassed, uh, outclassed. I do. I feel like. I mean, maybe if we get off to a really fast start, but yeah, that is that is a tough one for uh, Toski Tokens. All right. <clears throat> All right, much brew about nothing time. We are Toski tokening, and we're keeping this. We do need to hit a land, preferably two. But, I mean, we got Toski. We got tokens. You don't play a deck called Toski tokens and then uh, and then ship that hand. Well, with breast kites. Getting a lot of non-lands out of the way, which is good. We'll take Soren, I guess. Well, hit some lands, please. Seamens for our opponent. Tapped. Well, crack this. Get a godless shrine. Bitter blossom. Go. All right. Lands. 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 Flood is strand for our opponent. And land off the top, please. No. Well, we will play intangible virtue. Opponent cracks. Snow covered island. Mana leaks. Well, can we draw some lands? We got this Toski, which is insane if we can get it down. Opponent. Tap land. Well, let's play Force of Virtue. Pitch an on thin ice that doesn't do much. Untap. Mega token. Not a land. Well, we are doing this in the the hard hardest way possible here. I mean, I guess the drawback of Toski is it does cost four. Opponent bolts a token. Opponent is probably playing through the breach Emrakul, I would guess. Opponent passes. Not a land. Good lord. I don't go to combat. Attack you. Snapcaster bolts the token. Yeah. Ugh. Opponent. Do they draw a lad? Not yet. Goes to combat. Attacks. Well, let's force a virtue. Opponent has bolt number three. Hits us to 12. Well, we make a token. We do not draw a land. Inquisition. Well, I mean, that is through the Breach Emrakul, so if our opponent draws two lands, we're dead. There's the first one. Hmm. Yeah, if we had drawn lands, I think we would have won this pretty easily. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't meant to be, I guess. Ugh, opponent cracks. Gonna cycle Cryptic to hit the Lando in the game. Oh, this has been brutal. Opponent bounces a token, draws a card, untaps. Did they hit a land? They did. That's Breach Emrakul. That's us conceding. Oh, land? No. No. No! Wow. All right. That's uh, not a lot of lands. Not a lot. Well, we will bring in two Thought Seizes. We'll go down on Thin Ice. We'll go down Fatal Push. Um, none of this stuff does any. I guess a Pithy Needle maybe can hit a can hit a Planeswalker. Oh, we were in like such a perfect position there, but well, this might go down as a League of Near Misses. The deck has felt generally pretty solid. The problem is. Oh, things just haven't quite lined up. Opponent. Well, we get to play first. Well, we got lands this time. <laughs> I guess that is something. This is uh, one of those scenarios where if only we could have mixed together our uh, our first hand and our second hand, we'd have two nut draws. Opponent, steam vents. Untapped. Well, I'm assuming this means they're going to spell snare our Oriac champion, which is somewhat depressing. About it. Passes. Well, windswept teeth. Crack windswept teeth. Thin the deck. Because we got lands for days. Play an Oriac champion. Get a spell snared. Ooh, no spell snare. So they must have opt. Not bonnet ops. Opponent. Flooded strand. Passes. More lands. Well, go to combat. I guess we attack. Like, if they ambush with Snapcaster, I guess they ambush with Snapcaster. Windswept teeth. Pithing needle. Opponent cracks. Steam vents, tapped. I think we're actually gonna name Scalding Tarn. I think, decent chance that does nothing, but there's some chance that that cuts off lands and lets us stay alive. Castle Vantress, opponent passes. Well, we will crack, thin the deck, get a Gondola Shrine tapped, untap, more lands, Aired Mesa, crack it, Snow Covered Plains, play a Toski. <laughs> this is one of those matches where last game we had all the action, but couldn't hit land number three. This game, we got all the lands possible, but uh, cannot find any action. There's a Snapcaster. Gonna kill our Oriac champion and opt. Yeah, well, Oriac champion doesn't really do anything, so we might as well. Opponent blocks with Snapcaster. 
opponent. The problem is, once our opponent gets to five mana, they just win. Or can just win. She's, um... Alright, well, go to combat. Attack with Toski. Draw a card. More Auriac Champions. Well, Castle Art and Veil, go. Well, are we dead? Archmage's Charm draws two cards. About it. Castle Vantress. Well, apparently not dead quite yet. Mega 1-1. One, one. Untap. Go to combat. Attack. We get to draw two. I'll play Oriok Champion. Opponent, gonna counter it. All right. Well, Snapcaster, Archmage's Charm. Then we will Spectral Procession. Marsh Flats keep thin in the deck, trying to get these lands out of the way. Opponent adapts. Flooded Strand. Through the Breach, Emrakul. Attacks. Attacks. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Block the Emrakul. Go to 16. Emrakul goes away. I mean, I guess the upside of flooding is we add stuff to sacrifice to Emrakul. Go attack it. Draw some cards. <laughs> Intangible Virtue. Kind of awkward timing. Marsh Flats. Go. Well, if they can do it again, then we're super duper in trouble. Then we're dead. Opponent untaps. That would require opponent to have two through the breaches and two Emrakuls. We just survived an Emrakul attack. Bota combat. Hits us. Sure. Down to 14. I'll crack Marsh Flats. Get a snow-covered swamp. Untap. Go to combat. Attack you. About it. Pono said we got some uh, extra equity because they got to play around Mana Tithe. <laughs> Which is actually smart because we do play Mana Tithe a lot. Inquisition of Kozilek. Opponent remands. Oh, silent clearing. Inquisition of Kozilek. Snapcaster. Remand. Yeah, that's a lot of card draw. Uh, well, we'll play Intangible Virtue. Pass the turn. Discard a Flooded Strand. Can we fade one more turn? Are we going to win through an Annihilator 6, which is absolutely absurd? Maybe? Opponent scoops it up? All right. Well, apparently we can actually overcome <laughs> getting hit by an Emrakul, which is insane. Uh, Forge Tender actually seems like it does things. Do we even care about Path? Like, what is it going to get a Snapcaster? Does that even matter? Not really. Yeah, let's bring in a Rest in Peace. Well... That does hurt our lingering souls. Could bring in another needle. All right, let's uh, let's do that. All right, run it back on the draw. Can we get the win with Toski tokens? Ooh, I mean, we're gonna keep this. The bad news is we need lands again. Ah, that's a land. All right, so play the land. Play a Burnington Forge Tender. Yo. Well, now we just need a green source for the Toski and to stay alive somehow. Not a given. Scalding Tarn for our opponent. Passes. Well, silent Clearing. Thought sees you. Our discard is pretty good against our opponent's deck. Uh, about it. Remand Spell Snare Anger of the Gods. Well, we'll take the Remand. Well, that is actually pretty good news. Opponent's hand's not great. Anger of the Gods isn't good against Burrington Forge Tender. Opponent gets a Steam Vents. Spell Snare isn't good against our hand. Flooded Strand. Opponent passing. Well, Castle Art and Veil, vale. play a Spectral Procession. I feel like we have to stop attacking with Forge Tender because of Snapcaster. Also, just keeping a bunch of bodies on the battlefield is a way we can potentially survive an Emrakul like we saw last game. About it. Land. Anger. Well, we'll fizzle it. Land for Toski would be the dream. About it, passes. Come on, land. Oh, this is actually tricky. That is land for Toski, but what if they have Emrakul? Is it better to Inquisition and Lingering Souls? It actually might be. Well, I guess Inquisition doesn't actually take either of their combo pieces. You know what? Let's draw cards. Aaron Mesa, crack it. Temple Garden. I mean, they didn't have either Emrakul or Breach like two turns ago, so I guess if they just happen to draw into both of those, then you got us. Squirrel time. Draw three. Hit you to 14. Yeah. Oriac Champion, Spectral Procession, Toski, pass the turn. No Emrakuls, no Breaches. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Our Squirrels have had a, a rough go of it, but at land. Snapcaster, Anger of the Gods. 
This is actually fine. Like, it's annoying, but it's fine. It kills our spirits, but we get to refuel. So we get to Inquisition. Actually, you know what? Let's attack first. Go to combat. Get in with Toski. Hit you to 13. Draw a card. Ooh, intangible virtue. Uh, Inquisition. Nothing in hand of note. Spectral procession. Tap land. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Force of virtue. Pitch Oriok champion. 9, 10, 11. Oh. All right, opponent. Flooded strand. Passes. Play the land. Intangible virtue. And the GG's. We got the GG's. All right, that's Toski time. Oh. Wow. Oh. Well, for one of the first times ever, we survived a... We survived a Evergill attack. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and yeah. Well, so, uh, I guess this is wrap-up stuff. We finish our League 2 and 3, which isn't ideal. However, uh, one of our losses was to Primeval Titan, which we're probably never going to beat. Like, that just feels like a ridiculously bad matchup. One of them was that Dredge matchup, which... We probably need more graveyard hate. And the other one, the reason we didn't go three and two was uh, we lost to that Death Shadow deck where we almost overcame the most ridiculous Death Shadow star. But uh, our opponent had, what, two turns? And they topped that Kozilek's return to, uh, to sneak out the victory. So, huh. well, that's wrap-up stuff. Be back in a minute. So what do we learn this week about Toski tokens in modern? And overall, we went two and three, which I got mixed feelings on the results. So the deck, as far as the record, we had a couple of sweet wins. We had a couple of not that sweet losses. Like, we weren't really close against Amulet Titan. Against Dredge, I don't even know what to say about Dredge. We did kind of have our opponent top deck that Cathartic Reunion when they didn't have a way to get stuff in their graveyard, but we only got two graveyard hate spells, and Dredge is really good if you don't have graveyard hate. The one I was most disappointed about was a loss to the Death Shadow deck, where I really thought we had that one against an absurd Death Shadow start, where they had, like, multiple Grib Flayers, multiple copies of Death Shadow, multiple Scourge of the Sky Claves by turn four. We stabilized, we were, like, a turn away from winning, and they drew Kozla legs return so i feel like we easily could have went three and two with the deck i don't think we could have went five and oh because we do struggle with the unfair decks and i think that is just how this deck is going to work like we get a bit of interaction we get some thought seizes we have some hate cards in the sideboard but really when we run into the dredges and combo decks of the world we're just a little bit slow the good news is against any sort of fair deck Good lord, can we generate value? We saw Toski just go off, and Toski is legitimately absurd in this deck. Like, it is so, so strong. It was often drawing us four cards, sometimes drawing us like six cards, and then that value would just snowball and we'd be able to pick up the win. So, if we have time to get our engine going, the deck feels really powerful. The drawback is if our opponents playing really fast and comboing off and doing unfair things, then a bunch of Lingering Souls and Spectral Processions and Bitter Blossom making a token each turn just isn't that exciting. Like, we saw that against the Primeval Titan deck where we're like, okay, Bitter Blossom, Lingering Souls, and our opponent's just like, eh, you know, Dryad, Primeval Titan, Valakuts, I win, and we're like, what are we supposed to do about that? Is there even anything we can do about that? So I think the deck is a little bit matchup dependent, but if tokens are going to be good and playable and modern, I think Toski's going to be a big reason for it. It really felt like Toski was the best card in our deck most of the time, which was refreshing because when we played Squirrel Blade, Toski felt okay. It didn't feel bad and it was kind of cute, but it definitely didn't feel like the best or most important card in our deck. In this deck, we actively want to be drawing Toski pretty much every single game and having it on turn four because the value is just so immense. So record-wise, I thought we could have done a little bit better, but Really, I think that's kind of what the deck is. In fair matchups, it's absurd. In unfair matchups, it's much less absurd. Maybe some sideboard tweaks could improve it. Like, do we really need three pithing needles? Could we have more rest in pieces for the dredge matchup or some other hate cards? I think that's something worth considering. But overall, the deck is a blast to play. If you like tokens, you like drawing cards, Toski tokens is going to get the job done, and it's going to be awesome. Just watch out for the unfair decks that are just a little too fast, a little too brutal for our 1-1s to keep up. 
up with. So anyway, that's Toski Tokens. That's our bunch of brew for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Looking for some more Toski action? Well, make sure to check out the Squirrel Blade deck that we played on Much of Brew a few weeks back.